Pat Buddy Champ, have you seen Host anywhere? I need to get him so we can recover his team. Uh, yeah, he's actually hogging the bathroom. He's been in there for hours. I don't know what he's doing in there. Disco girl, that the breather is seventeen. Hey, you, get out here. We need to bring back your team. Wait, 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 we do not need to do that. <laughs> Look, I bet you they're, um, they're, they're just really sleepy. Yeah, you wouldn't want to wake them up from their sleep, plus, <laughs> you know, them seeing you, <laughs> it would be a bit of a shocker. You are a bit ugly after all. Ugly? I wouldn't say I was ugly. I, I don't know, am I? Oh god, that's hideous! Run away. Fine! I guess if I'm just so ugly, they'll just have to deal with it. I'm giving them this damn hotel in the first place. If they aren't even going to come back just because I'm ugly, they don't deserve it in the first place. And as for you, don't ruin my self-esteem. <laughs> Brought back. Full team. Alright, let's just get to the elimination then. Host! What did you do? Did we lose? Uh, what? Came back? But aren't I a clone? I didn't know clones could get recovered. This is outrageous! Wait, another elimination? Why should we even go through with it? There are 72 people! We should do a double elimination each round. If we do your double eliminations, the episodes will go back from 78 to 32. It would make so much more sense. I'm so sick of seeing one person leave at a time. It accomplishes us nothing. Double eliminations would really help out. Yeah, you know, what about the future? There's so many characters that you could barely do anything with. Yeah, the show's just gonna get cancelled anyway. Why don't we do like a split like BFB did? Well, we could do something like that. Uh, stop! Ugh, I don't care about the future. I don't care about the winner. I'm just having fun. Can't a guy just have fun and create something he's passionate about without worrying about the ending of it? I don't care if this series takes years to finish. I don't care if it never gets finished. But I just love creating so much. And to be able to have so many people around me that make me happy, I I couldn't just get rid of it like that. I'm not doing a split. I'm sorry if that offends or hurts you, but it's just the truth. <sighs> we're not doing double eliminations either. I, we're just gonna do one elimination at a time and we're gonna have fun with it. Because clearly you guys are having fun as with, with it as well. Today, we've hit a record of 221 votes. I'm really enjoying this series, so thank you so much for the support. The first two people safe are Pepper and Pokeball, with a record low of three votes. Oh yeah! I knew I could do it! <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, it's good to be safe, yeah. I was an early booter last season, so it's good to be here. The next two people safe are Woody and Penn, with 7 and 11 votes respectively. But I came back. Do clones even are able to even get recovered? If that's the case, then how could you even tell the difference between the original Penn and me? Hmm, sounds like you're going through some things there, bud. The next two people safe, or three people safe, as I should say, are Tennis Ball, not Earth, Hosts, and Piggy, with 21, 22, and 52 votes respectively. Mm. Meaning, unfortunately, Rubber, you've been eliminated with a record of 98 votes. What? Uh, I didn't even get to compete again. Why do people keep voting me out before I even get a chance to show my true abilities? Probably because people think you're boring or something. I don't know. Sorry, buddy, but... <laughs> Whoa, what is this? Well, you know, we have to get rid of the eliminated contestants somehow. We can't have them laundering around here. So, I thought bubbles would be the best kind of solution. Alright, guys. See you all later. Whoa! I can see my house from up here. That 
me go, let me go! Well, <laughs> this didn't really work out, did it? Alright, I guess everyone else died in the explosion, so I might as well recover them all. 1,875 hours later. Okay, so we're going to be doing a big challenge this time. Something I've been planning for a long, long time. Today, we're going to be going over to Hotelly Recovery Centery, my dearest friend, and we're going to ask him to make a new hotel for us, as it burnt down last episode. To make it there, you'll have to go through the Happy Tree Forest to make it there. The first team to get there wins. And the last team to get there, well, they'll be up for elimination. There'll be a 24-hour counter continuously going off in the sky. When that counter's up, the team that's last place at that moment is up for elimination. That'll continue until every team makes it to the end. It doesn't matter how long it takes, or how long the teams take, when that 24-hour timer goes down, it means whoever's in last place is up for elimination. Go! Hey guys! Look! Everyone gather around me! I can explode! It can tell us there! Oh, wait, no. Pommy, come on now. We do This is my second appearance on the show! So... <laughs> Grassy, Pommy, what should we do? Uh, I have an idea. Everyone, get inside Facey's mouth. He can carry us. Uh, if you say so. <laughs> Hey, our triangle, you wanna join our team? We, you, we could use your help. And... Pops. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Everyone grab on! Yay, friends! Oh god, my teeth. Triangle, I bit down really hard. I don't think any of my team survived that. I think I just crunched them all to death. <sighs> Does it matter? Let's just keep going. No one cared when I was hurt in the previous seasons. Look, Facey. No one's gonna care about you. They only care about this damn hotel. So why should you give them the light of day? Let's just continue on and get there first. If they lag behind, it's nothing but their fault. Let's continue. Alright team, it's time to come up with an idea. If Pancake is actually going to listen this time. Hey, come on now. I was asleep once. Are you really going to pin this on me? Whoa, whoa. What's going on here? Last episode, or whenever it was, back before the split... We were trying to defuse a button. I don't even know what it was. It was some kind of box thing and it made a beeping noise. Whatever it was, it didn't even wake him up. He didn't even bother to help out his own team. We almost got for elimination because of him. Hmm. Well, I don't know. It sounds like you're not even giving him a chance. I think Pancake here is a pretty good teammate. Yeah, he may fall asleep a lot, but I think that's just a characteristic that everyone needs to get used to. Including you. Well, you know, well, yeah, well, you know, yeah, well, you know, I've had to deal with bullies like you for the whole of my life. And if someone's just gonna take a nap, then that's up to them to do. You do not bully them into competing in something they clearly don't want to be in. Well, you know. <sighs> Oh, hey, at least we had, at least we landed in some kind of hot piece of wood like this. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, and if you were any hotter, you would be a forest fire. <laughs> yep, I sure would. Oh, what? Come on, where did my flirting abilities go? It's because Forky isn't here. Oh, buddy, you don't need Forky to be flirty. You just need to stick around me. I'll be able to teach you. Teach? Who cares about that? We have a witch here. 
Hurry back, Sandy Jr. Hurry back. Hey, hey, hey. I know this is stressful for you, but... Stressful? You could be using witchcraft to hypnotize us right now. Why are you back? Well, well, I... I I had a kill switch on my body, and whenever I got shot with the ectoplasm bullet, I... Ectoplasm? I know you got killed by that, but you shouldn't be back. Ectoplasm makes you unrecoverable. Well, yeah, I... I may have had a kill switch that reset the entire universe whenever I died. But that's why things just seem to be back to normal, and maybe some people have duplicated. I, it's a weird thing. What? Is that why I have my anxiety back? Well, yeah, but is that why I have the damn multiple personalities back? Well, yeah, I, I didn't really mean that. I, well, <laughs> you see, uh, well, uh, <laughs> what? You, seriously? Is that how Beads knew about it? Well, yeah, Beads was the only one that wasn't, you know, restored. Everyone else was kind of brought back to default settings. That's why you had your multiple personalities back when I reset the universe whenever I died. What? That's unfair! Yeah. <coughs> well, you know, I, I had to do something. If I didn't do anything, I'd be dead. I, I used the same magic to recover the universe back to its default settings. It was the same magic I used to bring Top Hat to life in Season 2. Circle's Top Hat. Same magic I used to bring Sandy's diary to life. Forky. Rubber. <coughs> Look, I, I know he didn't want to be up back alive, but you know, guys, I could have died. I, I didn't want to be dead forever. I, I just had to make a few sacrifices. and I know they weren't my sacrifices to make. <laughs> Do you guys wish I was dead? Hmm. <sighs> Hat. Why are you here? I just want to make sure you're okay. Oh, you do? Yeah, you really, 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 really cared about my health when you jabbed a needle on my side and made me go flying into the air again. <sighs> happens every time. This competition is so brutal. And it seems like no one cares about me. I'm always used. I'm never asked if I feel comfortable with it. I'm always just objectified all the time. <sighs> Back in season three, I was used to get everyone out of the RIP. Then, when I was eliminated in OKI, I didn't even have proper elimination. They used my corpse as the next challenge. I annoy you use me to get us stuck in this tree. No one cares about me, Pat. I'm just an object to use it's for other people to benefit. Now this challenge is to get to that wooden plank on the hill over there. And I bet you, you're going to use me somehow to propel up there next. I don't see this as a challenge. I see it as other ways for you to use me. <sighs> Cola, I, I don't want to hear it, Hat. Especially from someone like you. I've seen what you did back in Season 2, and... <sighs> you're clearly just an expert at using people. Maybe I am. Um... Maybe I'm just trash. <laughs> Don't pity yourself. <laughs> hey guys! 24 hours is up and your team is currently in last place. Meaning you guys are up for elimination. Ah, oh, God. It was so annoying, right? Like, she just would not leave me alone. Heart was addicted, let me tell you. Like, I was so glad to put that bullet in her head. Well, at least what I can remember of it. It's kind of weird that she's back, though. It was an ectoplasm bullet, and... <laughs> oh my god! What? You're so wise? 
Yeah, I'm still alive. I was able to slide in between your teeth when you crunched time. I am tiny after all. <laughs> but we need to go see a triangle. Triangle? Triangle wouldn't care the last of you died. Literally, he's trash beneath your chin? Just ignore him. Me and you, we're the best team ever. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Hey, congratulations, you two are the first people to make it. Did you need a new hotel? We did, yeah, we need a new one, stop. Uh, that is quite a far away dine though. While you're trying to find your epic paper, I find this epic hat. What do you think? Oh cool, there's my paper. Weird. Well, <laughs> I don't care. Can you help Babel around? Maybe you. I don't mean to sound mean, but where are we?